We're getting deeper and deeper into checklist creation, probably around halfway. And today we're talking about sidebar numbers, which is in original specification like this. So how many tasks are in each checklist and how many are completed? So first let's add them. We already have them. We actually have a view composer class that have hard coded numbers for now. And let's rename them. So tasks count. So it wouldn't be conflicted with tasks list or something. Tasks count equals one or zero. And let's try to show them as hard coded for now. On our sidebar blade, we already have the badge. Let's just copy and paste the same style for now. With styling, we'll probably discuss with client how much changes we need later. In the future, for now, we're taking care of the logic of how it works. So checklist tasks count. So this this tasks count and completed tasks count slash completed tasks count. So it should be showing now. We refresh the page and we should see zero out of one everywhere. Now let's calculate those tasks count. We can load the tasks of particular checklists. We already load the checklists and let's load another relationship. So with checklist as a relationship and then checklist task as a relationship. So checklist dot tasks. We also need to filter out where null. So tasks user ID, just in case. So we have checklist tasks and in here tasks count changes to checklist tasks. Since we're working with array here at this point, count of array item. And let's see what happens. Zero out of three is zero out of zero because there's no, probably there are no tasks here. Yep. So three here zero here and four here. Yeah, that's correct. The amount of tasks is calculated correctly. Now let's try to calculate the completed tasks. So for example, we completed here, it works, it's saved in the database. And if we refresh that stays with Livewire, we already did it in the previous lesson, but now that zero should change to one. How do we do that? In here, we will load another relationship of tasks, but with different condition. And let's actually create that inside of eloquent model. So checklist group has many checklists and checklist has many tasks, but we can define another relationship, which is called user tasks. This has many where user ID equals auth ID like this. And then we can load checklists, user tasks. Let's get back here. So checklists, user tasks. And we don't need that condition because it's inside of eloquent model. And now we can go user tasks, count user tasks, user tasks. And let's see if it works. We refresh the page and we have one here. And if we click here, change something, refresh the page, we have one here. It's not refreshed automatically and we will get to that, but actually it works. So I completed this task, I refresh and I have two out of three. Great. And now let's actually use live wire to auto change that number without refreshing the page. So we need to have an event on click of that, which we already have. Actually we have a function in checklist show live wire component complete task. And in here we need to emit an event, this emit an event task complete, let's call it task complete, which will be caught listened to that event by other live wire components, including the sidebar, and we'll create a component now there task complete with task ID with task ID what was finished. So the original task ID. And also just in case let's pass the checklist ID because that's the checklist that we need to refresh checklist ID equals task checklist ID. So we have two parameters for our event like this. And now let's catch that task complete on other live wire component. And let's create a live wire component for, if we go to sidebar for this part. So this would be a live wire component that span and these will be calculated and refreshed. So let's create a component PHP artisan make live wire completed tasks counter something like this. And we have completed tasks counter blade. Instead of that div, we have span here, weird formatting, let's change it. And instead of checklist, we will have completed tasks as a variable versus just tasks count. 
let's put it this way. Then in the completed tasks component, we will have public variables of completed tasks. For example, zero by default and tasks count. Like this. And here we need to load that live wire component, live wire completed tasks counter with those two parameters by default. So we have tasks count equals something and then completed tasks as well. Some formatting weirdness, completed tasks equals, what did we have here? Checklist, tasks and then count from what I remember. And then in here, count of checklist user tasks, right? And let's refresh if we didn't break anything. Refresh. 3, 2. Oh, it's the other way around. So tasks and user tasks. Yeah, completed task is user tasks. And here we have tasks. And instead of 3 and 2, not sure if you can see, we have 2 and 3. So this is all correct, but now works with Livewire. And now in here in our component, we need to catch that event. So in Livewire documentation, we have listeners array, protected listeners array. And on the event of what's the event name in our case, task complete. So event task complete, recalculate tasks. And we will have a method called public function recalculate tasks. And we need to have parameters and we do have the parameters. So task ID and checklist ID is the parameter list that would be accepted automatically task list and checklist ID, task ID and checklist ID. And we need to check the checklist ID. So if checklist ID equals this checklist ID, and we don't have that yet, but we will have it now, then this completed tasks plus plus public checklist ID. And let's pass that checklist ID from our sidebar while loading that one checklist ID equals checklist ID. We work with array, remember? Let's reformat that thing. Should work, actually. Let's try it out. Refresh, and let's click this, and let's see if it's three out of three. Unable to resolve dependency, checklist ID. Let's take a look. What did we do wrong? Oh, I think we need to pass the parameters not in task ID and checklist ID, but just as array of parameters. Yeah, exactly that. So task ID and task checklist ID, just like this. So two parameters here and let's refresh now. And we click and we have number three here updated. If we go to checklist one, it's one out of four. And if we click this one, we have two out of four. Great. Our checklist numbers are now refreshed with Livewire.